Alright guys, so in this video I wanted to take a look at some previous MLB old stadiums, also NBA, also NFL, and tell you guys what I think new modern architects should be putting into their stadiums, taking some tips from the old and bringing it into the new. Obviously, we're not talking about completely recreating a stadium, but there are different configurations that were very popular that looked really good back in the early 1900s. You know, e even maybe some futuristic ones or stadiums that haven't been built yet, but there are concepts. We're going to be taking a look at all of that, starting with the exterior of Shribe Park. Just beautiful brick design with the windows. You know, it's so, this reminds me of Lot. It, it seems like City Field might have used a similar design as this. Every modern MLB stadium needs, in my opinion, not everyone, but I would say a fair share needs a brick design exterior that has big windows. Also, you've got the roof design with those windows. Kind of looks like a train station. It is just beautiful. And it's so sad to see some of these modern ballparks basically be shells to where there's not even really a nice exterior at all. I mean, these things were going up in the early 1900s. They have the, these beautiful designs. They don't make them like that anymore when you walk into an MLB stadium. I mean, imagine walking into this stadium. It feels like you're walking into a cathedral you take a look at it nowadays, it is very corporate, very average. There are some really nice exteriors. Again, City Field comes to mind. But in just in general, I want to see more brick exteriors, really cool designs. Also, uh, Old Comiskey, when it was first put up, it had a really nice brick exterior design. Uh, it is really dated, but that's still a really nice one. You can see it didn't age well. And by the time they put up the new Comiskey, it just was really not in style. Speaking of Comiskey Park, you know, just the overall seating design of old Comiskey, the two, you know, tiered approach, neither of the tiers of old Comiskey had crazy big rows. It wasn't like it was a wall of seats that went back 50. It was just very small, but it also, surprisingly enough, sat a really good amount of people, like over 45K, which is not the typical capacity of modern ballparks. So you could really take advantage of the idea of doing a stack, stack a lower section with a section right on top of it. The sections don't have to be big. You don't even have to make both of them go around the entire stadium because most MLB stadiums that are being built are seating 35, maybe 40K at the most. You could incorporate standing room. I would just love to see, we never see it, like the idea of having two decks go almost all the way around the stadium. You, you'd want to have center field open. You would always want like a part of the stadium to be open. If you don't do that, it looks really bad. Just look at Guaranteed Rate Park. Uh, but overall, I do love the Comiskey design. And then maybe stack the suites on top. Really what you could do, even if you're obsessed with putting suites as close to the action as possible, which let's be honest, they are. They want suites as low as possible so rich people will pay for them. You could have a lower bowl that's very similar to Comiskey's lower bowl. You could do... Uh, one set of suites, and then you could do an upper deck that's very similar to Comiskey's upper deck as well. It doesn't have to be these crazy like three or four walls, wall of suites and then go with a crazy high upper deck. It can be done easier. The big advantage Comiskey had was it had both of the second decks going around the outfield, which is something we don't see. It's kind of frowned upon now to have outfield upper deck seats. They're really going away from it, but the unique thing about Comiskey was the upper deck was so low to the action, it kind of counteracted the problems with it. So I think that type of design, like not mimicking it exactly because it is an out-of-date design, but just the idea of doing a two-deck approach at a stadium, maybe only making it go all the way around on one side and then leaving the other side open or even closing both sides, but one side's just a standing room bar area. I think something like that could work in the MO. I'll be, you know, if you're looking for ideas, something like that, you could try. And then when it comes to the NFL, I really couldn't find many old NFL stadiums that were worth anything. 
It, it just is what it is. I don't know. The one thing I will say, Candlestick, it was obviously kind of a dump. It was multi-purpose. They built, you know, extended seating. It was originally built for baseball. We understand that. I love that wall of seating. It's the same thing the LSU Tigers, the college football team has. It's just like a straight wall of seating that connects the lower bowl to the upper deck. And I just think it looks so good at candlestick. That was actually extended seating. So you know how normally with the baseball, the, all of those seats would be pushed up and you would only see the upper deck. They bring those seats out and it just becomes a big wall of seats. And I think it looks so cool for, you know, a college football team, an NFL team. The drawback is it's just a giant wall of seats. So you would have to fill it, but it is college football, NFL. There's very limited games. They normally always sell them out and it just looks so good. So like I would say if you're a college team, maybe a big time college team planning a stadium, going with a big wall of lower bowl seats as long as you can sell it out, it would be a good idea. This is something you would never do for the MLB because the MLB has so many more home games. It's a lot harder to sell tickets and you would be dealing with mass empty seats. Moving to the NBA, it has to be the Boston Garden and in specific, the upper deck facade alignment to where you have, this is something that kind of reminds me of Nationwide Arena with the Columbus Blue Jackets and NHL Arena. You have the upper deck jetting down with each section cascading. You know, the Boston Garden, looking back on it, it is really dated, but it's a really unique design. They've got the lower bowl, They've got the upper deck and then they have almost like a club section and then two rows of suites. So, and we are seeing stadiums do more of that to where I think the Golden One Center in Sacramento has suites above their upper deck and so does Madison Square Garden and so does Crypto.com Arena. So we, we've seen it before. But the thing that I love the most about the Boston Garden is the interesting second level of the facade to where it jets up and each section gets lower and lower and lower. It is just such an amazing design and it's so unique. And again, I believe Nationwide Arena probably has the closest thing uh, to that. When it comes to future stadiums, uh, I would just say, you know, this is a message to the Cleveland Browns, the Carolina Panthers, you know, any NFL team planning a new stadium. Listen, this concept, it, yes, it was the Minnesota Vikings concept, but it's a, like a $1.2 billion project. If you're the Cleveland Browns, listen, you're already doing a stadium rebuild. You said it was going to cost $1 billion. Just up it to $1.2 and build this. This is a literal alien spaceship. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, somebody's got to build something like that. We got to see a super stadium. And then this, listen, uh, somebody in Florida, you know, maybe the Tampa Bay Rays relocate. How about a baseball stadium right on the water with little, you know, things jetting out of it like little palm trees. This was a design originally for the World Cup in 2022 uh, in Qatar and they ended up having the World Cup there, but this stadium never was built. So that is a very cool design. And then this is just really strange. I I, I don't even know why I put this on here. I think I just did it because it was weird. It looks like, what are those, like light panels? This stadium was never built, but I just thought it was a weird design to look at that. I don't know. Uh, and then this, listen, another idea for an NFL team, Farmer's Field, never built for, this was the LA uh, Chargers potential home or like an LA football team, whoever it was going to be before the SoFi thing happened. This was the original rendering. It looks sweet. It is all see-through. It's got a really nice light up roof. I really like Farmer's Field and I would really like something like that to get built. And then this is another San Diego Chargers rendering. Pretty nice. This one's a little bit more generic, but if a team came out with these renderings, I would be pretty fine with the stadium. And also, I mean, listen, you got a little boat show there as well. That's a hilarious design. Uh, but guys, those are just some stadiums, some older stadiums that I think people should look at when designing modern, get a nice brick exterior, a lot of lower bowl stuff. Keep it compact. That is the style now. That's the idea. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.